let's look at angle relationships that exist in triangles. The angle measures of a triangle relate in a very specific way. In order to show this, I'm going to draw a triangle, and I'm going to label the angles 1, 2, and 3. To show what I need to show about the angle's measures, I'm going to duplicate this triangle two other times. In order to prove what I'm going to show you about angle measures of triangles, I'm going to slide all the angles of this triangle together. So now 2 and 3 are together. And I'm going to rotate my third triangle here and put it into position so that all three angle measures are adjacent to one another. If I draw a line along the bottom of these triangles here and accentuate the angles with these rays, you're going to notice that the three angle measures form a line, a linear pair, except with three. And so when I pull out this angle and I label them one, two, and three, you're going to see that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 is equal to 180. Knowing what I know about the angles of a triangle, now I can say that angle measures in a triangle are equal to 180. I didn't put any stipulations on these angles. I didn't call them any number of degrees. But when I put all three of them together on a line, they form a line. Other angle relationships that exist in triangles specifically in right triangles. In order to have a right triangle, I have to have a 90 degree angle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 30 degree angle in here just for show. And knowing what I know about triangles, I'm going to say the total number of degrees, 180 minus what I know, is going to leave me with 60 degrees that I'm going to put into the triangle measure up here. I'm going to notice that these two angles now also add together to make 90 degrees. They are complementary. This shouldn't surprise us. And so when we look at the total number of degrees in a triangle, we notice that with the right angle and the complementary angles that are left, those two acute angles, we get a total of 180 degrees. One of our theorems says these two angles will always be complementary, the two that are not the right angle, that is. Let's talk for a minute about exterior angles. If I use this triangle for an example, and I label the angle measures 1, 2, and 3, I'm going to draw a line along the bottom of this triangle again. And you're going to notice that an angle is formed. I'm going to call it angle 4. Angle 4 is an exterior angle. When I notice that this is an exterior angle, also I notice that 2 and 4 form a straight angle, meaning that their measures are 180 degrees. From previous slides, we know that the three measures of the triangle are also 180 degrees. So the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 2 is 180. I want you to do a little bit of deduction here and, and ask yourself the question, how does the measure of angle 4 relate to the angle measures of 1 and 3 together? Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.